This was the scene at Flensburg after the arrest of the so-called German government. Dönitz, Jodl and Friedeberg leave the liner Patria to which they'd been summoned to hear that they were now prisoners of war. Dönitz, the self-styled Führer, Jodl, the former chief of staff, and Friedeberg, already no doubt resolved to take his own life. It was a day of mass arrests amounting to between five and 6,000 Germans. These included at least 300 high-ranking officers and 40 important civilian officials, as well as all the small fry. Obviously, the new firm of Dönitz, Jodl and company were hoping to go into business in a big way. At any rate, they'd got together a pretty large and I dare say very efficient staff. But already, the new firm had gone smash and the outward signs of bankruptcy were there in plenty. senior executives like Rear Admiral Wagner had to fall in with their hands up. It was while all this was going on that Friedeberg contrived to commit suicide. This is his corpse just after he'd taken poison. As for the other heads of the firm, they were lined up to be questioned by war correspondents. Pierre in civilian clothes, the Minister of Armaments and Production. Dönitz, who claimed to have succeeded Hitler. And as Prussian and as truculent as you'd naturally expect of such a type, General Jodl. Well, their firm is bankrupt and they must never draw up another prospectus, for it would certainly have as its object World War Number Three. <laughs> 